Season 4, Episode 10. Brought to you with the Climb Overland suit, the best lightweight adventure suit in the world. To see more of Lyndon's thoughts on his Overland suit, click on the link in the description below. Last time on Races to Places, Lyndon, dressed for the occasion, explored the mountainous regions surrounding Dart and enjoyed a refreshing visit to some waterfalls. View of the lap this morning. Welcome to the crazy house. The Hangar Guest House, popularly known as the Crazy House an unconventional building, designed and constructed by Vietnamese architect Dang Viet Nga. Originally built as a personal project, the house opened to the public in 1990, with a range of different rooms available to rent. The early visitors dubbed it the Crazy House, a name which Dang Nga soon adopted for the house herself. Well, here I am, sitting in a crazy chair, in a crazy house. Um, there is actually somebody who lives here, the owner and the builder of this crazy establishment. Uh, but it is quite mad. I've never really seen anything like it. It's uh, really cool. One thing about Southeast Asia that I'm really enjoying is the fresh fruit, and uh, this is no exception. I've just picked this up uh, for like 50 cents at the side of the road, um, and it's basically six different types of fruit. We've got kiwi, mango, bananas, all fresh from freshly picked this morning with fresh ice cream made today, and it's absolutely delightful. Fresh fruit from Southeast Asia. I'm going to miss that when I'm gone. Rice fields, rice paddies. Cruising on the midnight hook bus all the way to Hoi An. Check out our little bedroom at the back here. Look, there's nobody here, just, just just, just two. An empty bed next to me. So we can just like kick back and just hang out with our ourselves, just sort of whatever, just laying laying out on the back here with our little uh, curtains and the window outside. We just stopped at the minute. Not really that exciting. Right. See you in 12 hours. 12 hours later, off the bus. <laughs> Sweet, we've just been informed it doesn't stop until we get there. It's a 12 hours of bus. I think we'll be alright. Good night.
Located on the coast of the South China Sea in the south central coast region of Vietnam, the town of Hoi An is an ancient yet exceptionally well preserved example of a Southeast Asian trading port dating from the 15th to the 19th century. Ginger tea. Yum, yum, yum. I guess when the tide comes in here, the tide really comes in on the river and all the streets flood. Now, a popular tourist destination, Hoi An boasts architecture that displays a unique blend of both local and foreign influences and was declared a World Heritage Site in 1999. It's always great to find amazing pieces of history and architecture like this bridge behind me. This bridge is over 400 years old and it was built to connect to the Chinese quarters at the other side of this stream. And the main foundations of it and the main structure is still original. Uh, they've just changed the shape of it to make it more modern uh, to get cars and vehicles across it today. But uh, it's an amazing structure and it's great to see it. Just having a nice little uh, row up the river here, giving a little bit of assistance to my uh, lady behind me, taking me for a ride on her little boat down the river. It's really cool, get a totally different perspective looking at the town from the river. Um, really, really pleased that I, uh, I paid for her to take me out on the boat. So far in Vietnam, Lyndon has travelled on a pair of scooters, several buses and coaches, and now a boat. I wonder what's in store next. I'd like you to meet Martin. This is my new ride for the next 40 kilometres from here north. I hope he makes it. North out of Poyan towards the coast road, listening to some YouTube, music playing in the basket at the front. Happy days! I'm being passed by a beach girl! Get back out! Well, I just popped into a small vegetable village. Um, saw the sign on the side of the road. Um, it cost me a dollar to actually go and cycle around. I'm not sure if that's a common price for this, but uh, I paid it anyway. It seemed like uh, to go and see the locals working away on the vegetable fields, um, it would be a worthwhile experience. So. Uh, here I am, uh, behind me you can see uh, the, the locals working in the vegetable fields and obviously all that goes down to the market which we saw this morning. Um, so let's have a look, uh, we'll look around see what we can see but many different types of vegetables growing here. There certainly are a lot of vegetables growing here. Eight tons of vegetables are sold to the residents of the Quang Nam province every day, all year round.
next time on Races to Places, Lyndon travels further north to Hanoi, the capital city of Vietnam, where he gets stuck into the local street food.